Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another comic book review as we dive back into the crazy world of Borbane once again. Now last year, I did review issues number one and two and guys, I really enjoyed those issues and I gave both of those issues a nine out of 10. Now it's time to dive into issue number three. Now just like last year, I was given issues number one and two as a review copy and issue number three is the same, but no way is that gonna affect my review. Now, I've been highly anticipating reading issue number three. Was it worth the wait? Well, let's get on my comic book review for Warbane. Issue number three, Abominations. While the main story of Borbane takes place in 2035, writer Justin Biacosta is gonna take us on a field trip starting back in 2027 and give us some insight as to just how the war pigs came to be and that when everything from vaccines to the formation of local militants couldn't stop the slaughtering of humans in massive numbers, scientists came up with the idea of turning man's best friend into the perfect soldier. Now, in addition to us learning how the pigs and dogs came to be, we're also gonna find out just how back in the year 2029, how Jack earned the name Borbane. Now that's gonna do it for the backstory that we get here in this issue. Now the rest of this issue, well, we're gonna pick up in present day with Oscar and Dan on the hunt for a place called Burroughs Cave. Now in their quest, they're gonna come across an unlikely ally who warns them that the king of boars Deodon is not only far superior than your average mutated bacon, but that he has, let's just say, big plans for his army. Now back in the last issue, we learned about a dog named Tango, and here, Jack is on a mission to rescue his pooch in peril, and not only will he have to deal with shady individuals, but he'll also have to have a few tricks up his sleeve in order to have a chance to rescue Tango. Now this reunion might not be a warm and fuzzy one, but with ambushes by the boars being something of gigantic proportions, all will have to put their differences aside or risk receiving a knockout blow once and for all. Now, when I said massive proportions, I wasn't kidding. As you can see in this awesome illustration by Rayong Laverity, just how massive the King Deodon is. Now, as we head into the conclusion of issue number three, we're gonna see that the humans are all geared up and they're ready to make pork chops out of their adversaries. However, Deodon has come up with a countermeasure that will prove he's smarter than your average piggy. Now, as if all this isn't bad enough already, there's gonna be more bad news for the humans because it was believed by scientists that harming humans wasn't in a dog's DNA. However, this might not be so true. Now on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give issue three of Warbane once again, a nine out of 10. The creators in both their writing and the art pull me right back into this gritty world where it's becoming more apparent with each issue that this world is a survival of the fittest. I also really love the fact that Borbane is just not some generic monster first man story as these characters not only feel real, but they have to use more than brawn to overcome the obstacles that they are faced with. Now, I really wanna give extra praise to the artist, Rayonk Laverty. His work throughout this entire issue is absolutely stellar and it fits this world perfectly. So if I was to give it a letter grade, I would definitely give it an A+. But then I'm reminded by Michael Scott that there's actually an A++ and his artwork definitely deserves it. Now, if you're interested in picking up issue number three of Borbane, head on over to their Facebook page. I put a link down below that'll take you directly there. Also be on the lookout for the Hunter's Handbook. Now this was originally supposed to be just a Kickstarter book, but due to the popularity, they're gonna make it available to everybody. And this book really dives deep and lets us know some of these characters just a little bit better. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up my comic book review for Borbane issue number three. Now if you read this issue, what are your thoughts? Comment down below and if you haven't, definitely consider giving this one a shot. Support your independent comic book artists that are not only working hard, but giving you fun and original stories like this. All right, guys, if you like comic book reviews like this and all things pop culture, make sure you stay tuned in here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.